I'm going to use my utility manager now to read a paper tape into the laptop from the teletype machine. First I run the program. Here's the help menu. I want command 3 which is teletype send or receive and I want to receive. Okay, now I have to go start the tape uh, reader. I've already loaded the tape. It's an old tape I made in 1979. Okay. There it goes. Let's see if it's working. How about that? That was a series of rub outs that happened right there because when I made the tape 40 some odd years ago, there was a, um, I had a typo and I went back with using rub outs to fix it. Working perfectly. Okay, that's the trailer. Now, to end the input process, I have to go over and uh, hit the brake uh, uh, switch on the teleprinter. There, that should have stopped it. The software detects the brake signal. And now, if I hit uh, 2, which is the uh, command 2, which will type what's in the text buffer, there it is. Everything that, that it just read from the tape. Super. So now I've transferred. Uh, paper tape uh, text file from an old teletype machine uh, right into my laptop computer. That's great. This is working real good. Here is the current schematic for the teletype interface card that connects my microcomputer to the Kleinschmidt teletype set. I added this diode bridge so that the connection to the current loop is not dependent on polarity. So you can hook it up either direction, either way, and the circuit doesn't care. I added the opto isolator to the transmitter portion of the interface so that the current loop uh, no longer has any electrical connection to any of the microcomputers uh, circuits. This is all new circuitry that I added to my original interface card so that I could uh, receive data from the teletype set, store it in the microcomputer, and uh, send it on to the Windows 7 laptop. So here's the interface card after I made all the changes and additions. I relocated the large power transistor from its original spot to make room for the bridge rectifier and the two opto-isolators. And it's all working great.